uh, white men count too. Do you feel that, that white men are being marginalized in, in the absolutely, country? Absolutely. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope you are doing great. I bring this video here, this white old man saying that someone raised a flag. So white, he can't raise his own flag. And they was asking, what kind of flag you want to raise? He said you want to raise Christian flag or white man can too. There was a stitch on this video. I'm going to just leave you to dive into it. They flew a pride flag right over there on those on those poles, underneath the American flag. I can't fly my flag there for a whole month. Well, what what flag would you want to put up there? A Christian flag or or uh, white men count too. Do you feel that that white men are being marginalized in in the absolutely, country? Absolutely, absolutely. Really. Yeah. And what, what's 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 an evidence of that? What's evidence of that? Oh, come on, man. Well, just like an example of one example of it. Well, the example of what we were just talking about. What, you know, the BLM, uh, Black Lives Matter, Women's Lives Matter. But what about older white men's? Our, our lives matter, too. There you go. There's one example. I want you to name a single year in United States history where white men's lives didn't matter. So let's start at 2023 and work our way backwards. When we look at oppressive laws passed by Congress, who are they targeting? I mean, I see a lot of bills targeting marginalized communities like the black community, but I don't see any targeting white men. I mean, if we look at Republican policies over the past 20 years, I don't see any of them targeting white men and trying to take away their vote. I mean, let's look at every single president in history. We know one is black. What are all the rest of them? They're white men elected by other white men, especially during these years when people of color and women couldn't vote. Let's look at the racial makeup of Congress throughout the centuries. Red is for white people, blue is for minorities. Notice a trend in Congress from the 1700s to 2023? Again, where are these anti-white men laws? Where is it happening and when is it happening? I'm sorry, go back and watch the video i think the stitch pretty much says it for itself but um i'm sorry i've been <laughs> I've been down a rabbit hole and i'm mad um okay old white men your lives don't matter i mean it's not that they don't matter it's that they're not in danger the best the best analogy I have ever come up with, and now I hear it a lot now, was if your neighbor's house is on fire, it's like pouring water on your house that's not on fire. This country was set up for white men. You get paid more money. People listen to your ideas you, you you're not in trouble you're not being shot down by the police in the middle of the street you're not being followed in stores you're not scared every day of your life if this is the day that you're gonna get pulled over you're not freaking out about if I if I step out of my house that I'm going to get called a name. A name that should not exist. It's this country is so messed up. We hate change. We fear change. You fear what you don't know. So Try talking to somebody that you would never normally talk to. Get out of your comfort zone. But you have to understand. White men have had it good in this country for years and years and years and years and years. And you did that by stealing from others. So nobody feels sorry for you. Nobody feels sorry for you. Um, I, I don't, I don't feel sorry that for women that are racist. Like I am definitely, um, a woman, like 
domestic violence and stuff like that shouldn't be happening. Um, but it's just as much as racism shouldn't be happening. Like, it's not, you can't, it's, okay, it's like what they say. When, when they come for one person, everything's, you don't worry about it. When they come for a uh, minority, hey, you're white, it doesn't matter. Wait until they come for you. Because they will. So why not stop it now? Like seriously, white men, you've never had it so good as you have it right now, right now. Think of if you guys spoke up and spoke out against racism, violence against women women's health rights mostly racism because we really have to do something about this if you feel like you are going to lose friends if you speak up they are not good friends they are not good people to be around don't be miserable for the rest of your life being afraid of something you don't know because that's all it is. You're, you're fear-based. Let go of your ego. By older men, are you talking about the richest and most powerful men in America? There's one example. White men count too? Of course they do. Y'all run the, the, the banking system, you run the government, you run the schools, you know what I'm saying? You run the oil industry, you know? Politically, socially, economically, if there's a hierarchy, older white men is definitely on the top on all of them. They say victim mentality is when you make up entire scenarios for you to be the victim of them, right? A poll showed that Trump voters say racism against white Americans is a bigger problem than racism against black Americans. And oh my God, the racial illiteracy is baffling. Some people really look at equality or progression like pie. When they feel like somebody else is getting some, they feel like they get to get less. It's not really how They have the freedom to do that. Just as you have the freedom to do that. Everyone has freedoms. You can't control other people. You can only control yourself. Learn something, DBASS. No, minorities and women won't let us treat them like shit anymore. We must be being marginalized as white men. Please don't forget to leave your opinion down below what you think. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification anytime I upload, you will be notified. Stay blessed and bye-bye.